today I've decided to vlog. It's a very spontaneous decision. I'm making a few recipes today, so I thought I might as well make like a kind of like day life dash what eat in a day dash recipe video. It's an extremely dark and gloomy day in London. It's been raining non-stop and I'm looking so pale, especially with this really dark hair, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But anyway, it's uh, it's quite a late start. I'm not gonna lie, that'd be a lazy start of the day, but I still haven't had any breakfast. So let's make some breakfast and I still don't really know what I want for breakfast. So let's see what's in the fridge and let's make a decision when I see what ingredients I've got. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I mean, it's a really gloomy and rainy day, so I am definitely gonna have some porridge. I'm just finishing up these deliciously Ella Birchard muesli, which also works really well as porridge. I've got some of my usual Oatly. I'm gonna add some flaxseed for some healthy omegas, and I also treat myself to some organic blueberries and a chai, because again, I think it's just the perfect day to have a chai tea. also added some coconut yogurt and some cashew butter as well as the blueberries and here's my very weak I have to say chai tea but yeah this is perfect for this weather look how rainy it is mm. by the way my right arm as you can see is out of the cast but it's still not 100% so that's why when I'm eating I'm trying to eat with my right arm again not with my left as I used to be used to do but as you can see the movement of like twisting it it's a bit of a struggle so excuse the very weird eating it's just all I can do at the moment so okay breakfast is done it was really delicious and filling i mean you cannot go wrong with porridge it's time to do some work so as i said i'm doing two new recipes for the blog and i thought i'd just show you how i make them the first one is a summer tomato risotto we're having so many tomatoes in the garden so we made this risotto a few days ago and it was so so delicious and the second one is a child grilled carrots with like a miso aubergine and like a parsley pesto that's the concept we'll see how it goes but yeah that's kind of like how my days normally work so i normally start cooking around 9 or 10 depending on the day today it's definitely been a bit of a slower start to the day so it's already 10 o'clock but that's when i start working and then i photograph all the recipe between 12 to 3 i would say what is the best light and then I do all my admin, editing, writing down the recipe in the late, later kind of like afternoon. So that's kind of how my day is normally. And in case you wanna know, you probably don't. Anyway, let's get cooking. So the first recipe is tomato risotto. So this risotto could not be simpler. All you need is one white onion, finely chopped, two or three garlic cloves, obviously some risotto rice, some veggie stock. This is the one I'm using because it's got really good ingredients and I really like it. So I'm just gonna pour about, I don't know, like a teaspoon, maybe a two in some hot boiling water. And obviously you need tomatoes because the tomato risotto, I guess. So I'm using this gorgeous yellow to heirloom tomatoes from the garden, but you can use any red regular cherry tomatoes. I've got a little bit of olive oil on a pan and once it's hot, we're gonna add the onion in. Oh, 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 
pasto is cooking i'm gonna make a start on a second recipe so as i mentioned i want to do some kind of like char grilled carrots with an aubergine dip and some kind of like pesto and i'm using parsley and walnuts just to have a little bit of something slightly different than you know traditional pesto with basil and pine nuts so yeah i never made this before i had this dish at a restaurant with something similar to this dish and i really really loved this so yeah let's see how it goes <laughs> is ready I'm just setting up the uh, area for the photo shoot and yeah I thought I'd just show you quickly kind of like how I style my food my train of thoughts and all of that I don't know if you guys are interested but that's a big part of my job so I thought while I do a day in life kind of video I thought I had to show this so let me show you okay so that's that's the setting so because it's a kind of like a rustic recipe i went for kind of like a rustic board and then i'm keeping it quite neutral with the colors because i think the tomatoes will add a really strong pop of color so i've got this actually quite dark bowl which i never actually use but i thought it could actually work how many times did i say actually for this recipe I've got some small pincher bowl and then I've got the two cloth which they are kind of framing the pictures from this way and from that way so I'm gonna add the food and see what it looks like some slow roasted cherry tomatoes they taste delicious but they also look really really pretty i've added this little sprinkle of red pepper flakes some oregano um, leaves which again they look really pretty but also taste delicious a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil to get a lovely shine and yeah it's time to shoot it so as you can see the colors really pop up and the sprinkle really add a nice texture um to the pictures i would say okay so fast forward 10 minutes i'm having a bit of a disaster with the carrot aubergine dip kind of recipe it's not as i wanted it to be so i don't think i'm gonna shoot it or put it on the blog because it's not as good i don't know what exactly went wrong the car oh, sorry the carrots are not really grilling properly maybe i should have just roast them and the aubergine dip it's okay but it's not like mind-blowing so yeah i just show it anyway because that's part of what i do sometimes i have an idea for a recipe i go ahead and make it and it doesn't turn out as good as i want it to be and that's just part of the job some recipe don't just work out at the first time especially the first time as you wish they were i don't know if, to be honest with you if i'm gonna make this again because i don't know i don't know there is something missing but i don't know what is missing so yeah, I think I'm just gonna abort this recipe <laughs> for the time being, but it's kind of lunchtime and I'm a bit hungry. So I think I'm gonna have a little bit of my uh, tomato risotto. But let me just show you the aubergine dip and the carrots to give you an idea of how not appetizing at all they look. This is the aubergine dip. I mean, <laughs> can it look less appetizing? I don't think so. Those are the carrots, which I don't know they're not grilling as i want them they're a bit raw still maybe i should have just roasted them anyway i'm calling this recipe a day i'm not gonna keep doing it because i'm just not feeling it at the moment the result is really good though at least 
one of the recipe turned out as good as I want it to be. Also, it's anything better than risotto when it's like rainy and gloomy. Still can't bloody bend my arm. Okay, it's time to tidy up. This is the usual mess which I always make. More over here. So normally when I'm finishing uh, photographing on the recipe, I just literally clear up all the kitchen. Maybe I'm gonna hoover as well a little bit because it's such a mess. And then I'll get on with my admin. So yeah, let's clean up. kitchen is kind of tidy and clean I did give a little hoover it as well here is the hoover I mean my kitchen will never be 100% tidy because I'm working in it but yeah it's it's kind of tidy so I'm now ready to do some admin but before that I'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate the laziest hot chocolate just oatly dark chocolate made for zero I've got my sweater on as well because it's cold now and now it's time to do my admin so I have to finalize my accounts which is so boring I absolutely hate it but I have to send it to my accountant which normally he does the tax return for me at the end of the year and I know you're thinking it's just August but they really work in advance and to be honest the sooner you send it the sooner you're done so I really want to finish it up and hopefully today is the day that I actually finish my account. So that's part of, I guess, my job as well. Boring admin, which I hate with a passion, but it needs to get done. happy to report I've done with my account I've just sent it off hopefully it's okay I don't have to do anything anymore oh that took the life out of me I mean such a rainy gloomy day so I'm literally like can I go for a nap I have no motivation to do anything else and I think that's the hard thing when you're working for yourself that you have to motivate yourself because you don't have a boss that tells you what to do you are the one telling yourself what to do basically and sometimes when you just have no motivation whatsoever, you're just like, well, I can just, you know, go on an app, watch some TV. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so it's quarter past three now. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit more work. Normally I would, fin I would finish with my photo photographing recipe much later, but today because I only did one recipe, I finish much earlier than usual. Normally I do between two to three recipe a day when I do recipe, and so I normally finish um, much later and by consequence I also finish much later to work in general for the day, but today I feel like it's gonna be a short day, which I'm not complaining about it to be honest with you because I think my period is coming and the spot and yeah I haven't got the highest level of energy so I'm gonna edit the pictures for the risotto I want to see what it looks like and uh, I will put the recipe for the risotto by the way on the blog as well so you guys can check it out I'm gonna try to put all the recipe which I also film in my YouTube videos on the blog as a reference so it's easier for you guys it's double the work for me but it's good to have them all in one place for for I think for my own reference as well so I have like a, like a cookbook I guess but online free for everyone which I think it's it's cool so yeah, I'm gonna do that now and then I think I'm gonna call it a day. <laughs> oh my god, like my motivation is non-existent. I you always have 
things to do that's the thing when you work for yourself when you work in like a creative you know field or like social media you always have things to do if you really want to do things like you're never gonna be like oh no i've done everything there is so always something to do i'm currently brainstorming for my workshop in the fall as well so i'm just uh, thinking about themes and what recipe and i will release the dates hopefully very soon maybe even before this video goes up so yeah but i feel like i need more brain for that and i don't think i've got that right now anyway let's edit some pictures so i can show you what they look like okay so i've added the pictures i am pretty happy with them they don't look great on the screen <laughs> through the camera but yeah they are pretty good i think they're a bit dark and moody but i guess because today was pretty dark and moody i don't really want to cook anything and i've got some leftover fried rice from last night sam also made like a medley of vegetables tomatoes onion and green beans and i have my stuff. carrots from today failed recipe so i'm literally gonna put everything together warm it up in a pan and stop it yes that's on growth and hope for the best i've literally sliced the carrots mix everything together oops and yeah i'm just gonna warm it up for a few minutes of kimchi because I love kimchi I honestly think it makes everything taste better and yeah not a very exciting one but you know there was some leftover which needs to be eaten and I wasn't really feeling cooking so much tonight this light is so unflattering <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here guys I hope you enjoyed it it was probably not the most exciting day it was just a very normal working from home kind of day i'm having a little ginger tea i'm gonna relax and watch and watch some tv and i also maybe gonna have some of these lemon ginger chia vegan cookies and yeah that's all from me from this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and if you want me to make more video like this just chill from home show you showing you what i get up to what my work is like then just let me know in the comments thank you so much again and i will see you again very soon bye <laughs>